All right, guys, here we are. We're ready for skills. And today you actually need your whiteboard and your dry erase marker because what's going to happen is I'm going to say a phrase to you and you're going to write it down and then I'm going to show you the phrase and then you're going to check your work and erase and repeat. So let's go. All right, the first phrase is... Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> In a flash. In a flash. So go ahead and write the phrase in a flash. Oh wait, three, three seconds, and I'm gonna show you what it said. I'm gonna show it to you. So yep, your partner. Hey, but you gotta write in a flash. Okay, here it is. In a Flash. Good job. All right, the next phrase. Pick weeds. Good morning, staff. If you have not yet signed the uh, attestation of the training for this week, um, the three W's that was this attached so real, to your so weekly <laughs> notes, make sure you're writing pick weeds and sign that document. If you haven't done it yet, make sure you finish it up and come up and find the document. We need to get this one cleared up. Thank you. Oh, that's a nice interlude. So real. All right, guys, so we're, you're ready with pick weeds, right? All right, here it is. Pick weeds. Pick weeds. Not using our E, -E digraph, making the E sound. Good. All right, next one. Keep it up. Keep it up. Hey guys, I promise I'm trying my best to go as slow as I feel like I need to, but if I am still going a little too fast, you can pause between. Pause me in between while it's on the black screen, okay? Let's say it one more time. Keep it up. And here it is. Keep it up. Keep it up, okay? Next. Green grass. Green grass. Go ahead and write down that phrase. I'm air writing. All right, here it is. Green grass. Green grass. Okay. Next, make it quick. Make it quick. All right, and here's bigger bill. Make it quick. All of these phrases use words that you have the tools to be able to encode or spell. All these words have phrases using words that you know how to encode. You know how to spell them, or I should say you've been taught the tools and how to spell each of the words in all these phrases. I promise. <laughs> all right, next. Ship shape. Ship shape. I'm going to show you how I'm. You're writing. And ship shape, ship shape. Ooh, did you notice that from ship to shape, we only change one, one sound? We go from the vowel sound I to the vowel sound A. And the vowel sound A spelled with a split diagram. All right, good job, guys. All right, ready? Here's the next one. Shut the gate. Shut the gate. The gate. Are you ready? All right, here goes. Shut the gate. Shut the gate. All right. 
and have your cake. Have your cake. Go ahead and write that down. There it is. Have your cake. That's an H. Somehow got caught up with this line here, but that's an H. Have, that's a tricky word still, your cake. Have your cake. That's an excellent example of a tricky word that won't always be tricky because I'm going to teach you a rule about V way later in the school year. But right now, have is tricky. Your cake. Good job. All right. All right, two more. Take it from me. Take it from me. No, I'm finger tracing. All right, and the big reveal. Take it from me. Take it from me. That's an expression you may have heard before. Take it from me. The sky is blue. <laughs> All right, last one. Ride the wave. Ride the wave. Ready? Okay. Ride the wave. Good job. Ride the wave. And now some of these use um, the short vowel sounds that we learned first. E, A, E, A, uh. I have to think about that. I'm sorry. And then some of them use the long vowel diagraphs that we've learned in Unit 2. E, A, I, O, U. And then even some other ones were tricky words that you've learned previously in first grade as well as in kindergarten. And I say you did a bang up job. <laughs> okay, so this page that I have reproduced here is actually 17.2 in your cat book. And I would love, 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 love for you to do it with me. And as a matter of fact, let me make a little tweak. There we go. Yep. I would absolutely love which means you need to do this with me. We're going to sort these words based on the vowel sound spelling. The vowel sound spelling. So is it O, E as in home, A, E as in tape, or U, E as in flute. 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 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so they've done the word home for us. So let's go across. What is this next word? Remember, you're on page number 17.2 in your cat book. 17.2 in your cat book since you're working with me. So this word is take. And what vowel sound do we hear? Take. We hear A. My bag it's our model word. Let's go ahead and write the word take. A, take. And so I don't actually like crossing the words out, but what they did here was they circled the vowel spelling. And I think that's a good way for us to show that we've used the word. Let's circle the vowel spelling. They went up. Let's copy them. Let's copy them. So we'll circle the A and the E, leaving out the P. Good job. All right, the next word, what's this word? Let's type this one out. Prunes, prunes, prunes. So if you ever heard of a plum, a plum is a fruit. And just like grapes get dried up into raisins, plums can get dried up into prunes. And it's done on purpose to make a totally different fruit, a different taste, different texture. It's kind of really cool. But say prunes, prunes. And do we hear O, A, or U in prunes? Mm -hmm. We hear you. 
Prune. More than one? Prunes. More than one. Good. All right. We're going to circle the vowel spelling. And that will indicate to us also that we've used that word already. Let's keep going. What's this word? Joke. Joke. And what vowel spelling? Vowel sound do we hear? We hear the sound O, which means we're using the spelling O, E. Remember split diagraph, split diagraph. So joke goes under home. They have the same vowel spelling. And we're going to circle it up here to show that we did it. What's our next word? Can you read the next word to me? Mm -hmm. Tune, 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 that got stuck. Tune, tune. Is that an O, A, or U sound? The U sound. Tune. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and circle the vowel spelling so we know. We use that word. What's the next word? Shape. Shape. Good job. Shape. Let's tap that one. Shape. Shape. There are three sounds and a lot of letters, though, because shape has two diagraphs. It has a consonant diagraph, a connected one, the SH, and it has a vowel diagraph, the A E. Shape. Let's go ahead and write the word shape. Shape. Excellent. All right. And this next one. Hmm. That's interesting that they chose this word. This word is bear. Not like the bear, like rawr, bear, like Goldilocks and the big bears, but bear, like my arms are bare. There's nothing on them. Okay, and that's an interesting choice because it really makes more of an air sound. But what spelling pattern do we see here still? That split A diagraph. Okay, mm -hmm. good job. Bear with the split A diagraph. I'm going to give that word a question mark up here. I'm going to circle the vowel spelling. I'm going to give it a question mark. But it could be kind of like... So, the first name, Tierra, has the air sound, but it's spelled sometimes like this. And it may just be a spelling rule that has to do with the letter R, and I'm going to look into that so we can have some more information about it. But you got to ask me for it. <laughs> All right, the next word is rope. Rope. Good. Rope. Has the O sound. Oh, that clean, clear O sound. Thank goodness. All right. All right. The next word is choke. Choke. Let's tap out choke. Ch oak. Choke. Yet three sounds, again with five letters, because it has a consonant diagraph and a vowel diagraph. Good job. Choke. Ch oak. Choke. All right, good job. All right, just a few more. What's this word? Cane. Cane. A cane. Like a candy cane with the red and white stripy thing. But also they're long, when they're long, people use them to help them walk sometimes. So cane. Cane. Has which sound? O, A, or U? Has the A sound. Good job. Cane. Cane. And our last two words are. Well, they both have to have the U sound. It's the only place there's room. But we still have to read them. Mule and cube. But you hear that distinctive U. They're not muddled. They 
All right, there's a mule, yule, and cube. Cube. Mule and cube. All right, excellent, excellent. Let me let you get a clean shot before I erase it. Yeah, you did great. I do have some, I have some questions about bear. I really do. I'm going to look into that for us. I'm going to look into it. I'm ready to go. So y'all are checking your work. Make sure you got everything while I'm writing this note, right? Okay. All right, so I took my note. Just with my other, like my other note that y'all are supposed to remind me about for your three points. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and race and tell you what your assignment for the day is. So we practice, we've sorted, we use the words. So what we have here is a few sentences. Notice they are complete sentences. They start with capital letters and they do have ending punctuation. This one being ending in a period because it's a statement. This ends in a exclamation mark. Someone's excited about something. And this ends in a question mark. Somebody's seeking information. The speaker is seeking information. Each of these words either uses one of the vowel digraphs or it is a tricky word from this unit. And so you're going to use these six words to complete these six sentences. Pointing down, that is your must do today. Your may do will be the trip west. Remember, may do doesn't mean you don't, you have a choice, it means do it second. And so the story is called The Trip West and of course in the Nearpod under the may do below this, I will be your partner A, you will be partner B. And we will get this done together. And I can't wait to see the great work that you have in store for us today. And that concludes our lesson. I'll see you later.